My dear Delilah, following my extensive search of the underground forest, I have unfortunately found exactly zero head honcho demons. This, of course, came as a slight surprise, as I had been led to believe that there would be at least one. Personally, I refuse to own this failure. I did my part darn well, with my search of the underground forest being darn near methodical. I have scoured the land rather thoroughly, from the surface down to and including the shallow depths of hell. There are in my search admittedly minor gaps, my dear Delilah, however if the she-beast is indeed hiding in one of these narrow crevices, then she is neither a ruler fit for a land so vast, nor is she powerful enough to warrant my time. In the end, my dear Delilah, regardless of whether she doesn't exist or is simply hiding, for days now I have raged through her lands unchallenged and unchecked, and unless her plan was to infuriate me through lack of action, then she has had no effect on me whatsoever. As the late great Uncle Ben once said, with great power comes great responsibility. And my dear Delilah, the head honcho demon who has claimed to claim ownership over this land is clearly neither powerful nor responsible. Due to this, there will be no monument constructed of captured gold to her destruction, but instead a memorial built in testament to her absolute failure. For truly, my dear Delilah, if one cannot protect what's theirs, it never truly was. The head honcho demon deserves not this biome to rule over, and so, as a devout moralist, I see only fit it taken from their possession. As such, to forever mark in history a reminder of the head honcho demon's failure here, I have elected to permanently scar the land in order to display the demon's failure for all future generations. And indeed, my dear Delilah, what better way to display the failure of a king than the destruction of a kingdom? I shall cut down and pave over the forest the head honcho demon supposedly rules over, leaving their domain no grander than a McDonald's car park. The forest, my dear Delilah, unlike the head honcho demon, did actually put up a little bit of a fight. I had though, of course, absolutely expected this, as after all I have seen Avatar and Fern Gully. However, unfortunately for them, and indeed the forest, they were, much like the low-level beasties I encountered while underground, completely no match for me. They were swiftly slaughtered, and I was allowed to continue committing more deforestation than the entirety of the paddle pop industry. I do almost feel sorry for slaughtering them so viciously, considering they were just defending their homeland. However, on the other hand, this is what you get for following a demon and standing between me and you, my dear Delilah. I would go for the silver lining and say that they've probably learned a valuable lesson here, but considering they're all dead and their homeland is now entirely infertile, I doubt they've taken much away from this situation whatsoever. And so, my dear Delilah, with the residents of the forest now slewn or possibly slain, I'm not entirely sure, and the entire forest cut down and paved over, it seems that my business in this biome is now coming to an end. However, with regret, there is one more thing I must do. Though his company was good, his advice was bad. And so, bearing the burden of this failure, I have unfortunately had to banish Renfield too, as in Renfield also, not Renfield II. While his presence will be sorely missed, the stench of his failure will not.